Hi everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading for the second half of April, 16th through the 30th, 2019. A few announcements before we get started. First and foremost, the free reading giveaway. So we've received all of the submissions uh, from quite a few people and we're taking the time to read through each and every submission now. So it's going to take us a couple weeks to do all that and uh, I wanted to take this time to thank everyone who participated. A winner will be announced on May 1st, and uh, whoever it is that wins will be notified via email. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Also, anyone who's donated to the channel and who has booked readings through me, thank you so very much, guys. It's much appreciated. And finally, we ran a poll on uh, what type of reading you guys wanted me to do for the second half of April, and you guys just really wanted the cards to speak for themselves. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys this second half. So that's it for the announcements. Um, let's get started on your love reading. Thank you guys for being here. So let's go ahead and get started and tap into what's going on in your love situation. And let's see what messages come through. General, as always, Capricorn. It will not resonate with every single person out there. So please take from it what makes sense to you. And don't try to make the other information fit if it just doesn't it doesn't you know all right guys let's get started so angels and spirit guides for capricorn what's going on in love romance relationships what is it that we need to be made aware of at this time for capricorn all right guys here we are What's going on in love and romance? Sorry for my squeaky chair. I really need to get that fixed. <laughs> All right, guys, what's going on in love and romance? Received. Okay, so this is indicative of messages that you might have received from this person that you are thinking about for this video. Um, nowadays, communication could come in the form of a phone call, an email, um, of course, a letter, a text, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, this person has reached out to you in some way, shape, or form. And this is indicative of you finally receiving some form of communication from this individual. All right, what else do we need to know? And look at that communication. So yeah, so you're either talking to this individual on the phone, texting, you know, I'm feeling here that you guys are back in connection. Okay, so let's tap further into that and see how it's going or where it's going. What else do we need to know for Capricorn, please? A level of surrender is coming through here. To me, this this is coming through with the energies that you're, idle, you're either settling for a situation, a relationship, or you're kind of giving up in a way. So regardless of the fact that you may be back in communication with this individual Capricorn, I'm kind of picking up off of your energies that you've kind of given up the fight a little bit. So I'll tap further into that and see what that's about. Why are you giving up on this person, regardless of the fact that you guys are communicating? What else do we need to know, angels, in regard to this relationship for Capricorn? Some of you guys have a family. Perhaps that's why this person is reaching out, simply because you may have children together or a family together. I'm feeling here, for those of you tapping into this particular reading, that yes, you may be back in communication with each other, but it's, it's almost like it's for all the wrong reasons, you know, it's, um, it's almost like you guys are back in communication because you guys need to be as a result of possible family issues that are going on. 
But in regard to a love connection, a romantic connection, I'm feeling here, Capricorn, that you've kind of lost your fight as far as wanting to fight for this connection. Bottom of the deck. Very interesting. We have the abandoned card coming forward here. Someone feels abandoned in regard to this connection here. So since you guys were out of touch and now back into communication, perhaps Capricorn, you feel as if this person did abandon you rather than sticking it out and working through whatever challenges you guys were dealing with. They chose to walk away from the relationship and you were perhaps stuck dealing with whatever family issues were left behind. For those of you guys with children, perhaps you were left taking care of your children and or family. And without your partner there to support you, you did feel abandoned. You did lose the fight and your edge towards wanting this connection to continue to work out. I'm feeling here, Capricorn, that from your standpoint, this relationship has kind of lost a little bit of steam here. I'm feeling that you've been hurt by this person, whoever it is that you're watching this video for. They definitely hurt you. They definitely hurt you. So let's pull some tarot and let's... Let's get some further clarity on all this. So angels and spirit guides for my Capricorns. I'm not reading reversals this time around, guys. Okay, so whatever the cards indicate is what I'm going to bring forward for you. All right. What else do we need to know for Capricorn angels? Please bring it forward for me. What else do we need to know for Capricorn in regards to this love connection or situation? What else do we need to know? What do we need to know? I feel stagnancy here though, okay? We've got the Queen of Swords. Three of Swords, okay? So there's definitely heartbreak and separation and grief that's being interjected into this relationship. But we've also got the Ten of Cups, okay? Once again, indicative of that happy family life, a happy home life fulfillment in love. So I do feel that there was a time when things were really good between you and this person, Capricorn, but they, they really hurt you. They broke your heart. Wow. And for some of my divine feminines, you are picking up off of the energies of this queen of swords. She's a quick thinker, very perceptive type of queen. She's not afraid to cut people out of her life that don't belong in it. And for my divine feminine Capricorns, I'm feeling here that you did cut this person out of your life because they, at the end of the day, they really hurt you. They abandoned you. They abandoned the family dynamic. Stopped communicating. It's almost like for some of you guys, they just left without a word and you didn't know what on earth was going on and so you had no choice but to really pick up the pieces in order for your family to not feel the ramifications of this person leaving the relationship but this person at one time made you very happy wow Things were good for, for a while, but 
Wow, they, they definitely stepped out of the connection I'm feeling here. We've got the hanged man coming forward. A level of sacrifice was made here. And I'm feeling here, Capricorn, that it was re it really fell on your lap. You had to really sacrifice elements of your life in order to take care of your family. And once again, those of you with children, perhaps you ended up being a single parent for a time because this other person was not helping you and really abandoned the relationship, abandoned the family. So with the hanged man energy coming forward here, it you are letting go. A turbulent time is ending because you chose to end it. And once you made that decision, Capricorn, it really brought you peace of mind because it helped really clear your way of thinking to figure out a better path for yourself. I feel that for you. And you did release or are still in the process of releasing what no longer serves you. And part of that is this connection from this person. So you made room for yourself to receive something better, not only in regard to love and romance, but other areas of your life as well. So you're going through a level of transformation. This is a period of transition and change for you, no doubt about that. And you're healing. You are healing, Capricorn, and you're leaving the past behind. Okay? Yeah, you guys are back in communication, especially those of you guys who have family together, especially young children. Perhaps you guys have are sharing custody of the children. That's for some of you guys. And it is indicative of problems resolved. That is what the hanged man is offering you. Look at this bottom card. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. This is bringing forward a level of gratitude in your life because you are now able to perceive things from a better standpoint and you're coming forward with a grateful perception that you made it through the storm. You made it through the tough times that this person interjected into your relationship. So you're now coming into the fruits of your labor and all of your hard work. You're now receiving the rewards of past decisions and actions that you've taken to be where you're at today. You weren't going to be sitting in this chair just waiting for this person to come back. You took it upon yourself to make things happen in your life. Good for you, Capricorn. Good for you. Okay, so let's pull some romance angels cards to add to this. Angels and spirit guides for Capricorn. What else do we need to know in regard to this connection? But I do feel, Capricorn, that you're on a better path, guys. You are healing from this broken heart. And I do feel that you will find love again. You have the capability of attracting this Ten of Cups back into your life. You had it once, you can have it again. What else do we need to know for Capricorn, please? You can have it again, Capricorn. It's not the end of the road for you in love and romance. It's not the end of the road at all. What else do we need to know, please, for Capricorn? Deception, okay? You guys may have had a third party situation in regard to this whole situation with this person. Or they were just coming forward with lies and manipulation. They weren't telling you the truth. 
Okay, so it doesn't have to be a third party, not for everyone, but this is coming forward that this person was wearing a false mask in the relationship. They were not being truthful with you. This is someone that you could not trust. They might have been telling you one thing but doing another. So it doesn't have to come in the form of cheating. Um, it's simply coming forward that this person was being deceptive in some way, shape, or form. And of course, for some of you guys, yeah, there was cheating. There was a third party involved. What else do we need to know here? This is what's coming for you, Capricorn. For those of you who are resonating with this, you've been through tough times and you've wondered, can I recover from my broken heart? Yes, you can. You've got new love coming in for you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Either this is a connection that you've recently made or it may be coming for you the second half of April. And time is fluid, guys. This could happen weeks from now, months from now. But these are the energies that are coming in for you, Capricorn. One more card, please. What else do we need to know? You are also dealing with codependency here. Alcohol, drugs, sex addiction, someone who's a workaholic, shopaholic, or simply exhibiting codependent behavior. For some of my Capricorns, I'm feeling that due to this tough time that you went through in your love life, that you really tried to numb your emotions by drinking too much. I'm feeling that for some of my Capricorns. And for some of you, it really became a problem. That's not for everyone, of course, but it is for some of you. And for others, this person had an addiction problem and it caused a rift between the two of you. And that may also be picking up off of this deception card. Perhaps you picked up off of what it was that they were doing and when you confronted them about it, they denied it. They weren't being truthful. That's for some of you guys dealing with someone who had an addiction problem. So yeah, that's coming through here. But smack dab in the middle here is a new love that's coming in for you, Capricorn. So you've been through a rough patch in your love life for sure. That's coming through here. That is being indicated here. But you can make it past this. You can find love again. You totally can. Okay, so let's pull some messages from the Twin Flame Messages deck. And it's important to mention that you do not have to identify with the Twin Flame connection. You could be identifying more with soulmate connection or not even know the type of connection you're in. So we're going to focus more on the messages that come through with this deck and not so much the name of the actual deck. All right, guys, so focusing on thoughts words, emotions, feelings that need to be expressed but were never expressed between you and this person. Could also be picking up off of that third party energy, the codependency energy. Could be anything in regard to this connection. So let's tap into that and let's see what emotions and words need to come through here. What needs to be communicated that has not been? Please bring it forward, angels. Whoa, that was quick. Look at that, guys. They're apologetic, but they've, they're not speaking this, okay? They're not expressing this. This is what they're thinking of saying. Perhaps too afraid to tell you, I'm sorry, I couldn't do right by you. They know it. They know they broke your heart. They know they messed up. They know that they messed up a good thing. They totally know it, guys. What else, angels? 
what other words and thoughts and feelings need to be expressed here between Capricorn and this other person. What else? Okay, we have a few coming through. You don't need to identify with each and every one of these messages, so take whatever resonates. Would you reject me? So perhaps this person, seeing the error of their ways, has thought about wanting to come back to you, and perhaps that is part of this communication in reaching out to you once again. Would you reject me? I know I messed up. Can I have a second chance? And look at this next card. I'm in a much better headspace. So they may have done a whole lot of soul searching and work on themselves and realized how much they really messed this up, this whole connection and situation and relationship with you, Capricorn. So I'm picking up off of that here, but it's almost a little too late. I'm picking up here, Capricorn, that you've moved on or you certainly have the desire to move on to something and someone better. And look at this other card that came through. Not one of my favorite cards, that's for sure. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. And for me, it's it kind of comes off with that slap, in, you know, it's like a slap in the face type statement. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. It's almost like just kind of going through the motions of the words without really meaning it. Because ultimately, how can you not take it personally when you've been so hurt by this person? You went through this three of swords energy, which is a very difficult thing to go through. Heartbreak and separation and grief. Pretty major and difficult and painful things to go through. And to simply say, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you. It's me. And it may very well be them, but to ask you to not take it personally is BS, you know. And look at the bottom of the deck here, guys. Do you see that, Capricorn? I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So they feel it. They get it. They know what they've done. They know that they've hurt you. They know that they broke your heart, Capricorn. They know it. But at the end of the day, I really feel that you decided to cut them out of your life. You are done. It makes sense that you stopped fighting and you surrendered. You're done. You realize that you deserve better. And so do they. They also realize that you deserve better. Yet they have this desire to still want to come back to you, I'm feeling. Would you reject me? Would you take me back? Yeah, I do feel ultimately, Capricorn, that you would reject them. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. So let's pull some final thoughts for you, Capricorn. Let's grab some healing messages here to add to this, to close out your reading. But it's this was very insightful. So whoever this came through for, I really hope that these messages helped you out. Okay, some final thoughts here. Angels for Capricorn, please. And these final thoughts don't have to pick up off of this particular storyline, okay? Whatever messages come through here are simply meant to offer you some inspiration and guidance for the second half of April. So let's see what comes through for whoever needs to hear it at this time. All right. 
right, some healing thoughts. What else do you have for Capricorn, please, angels? Some final thoughts, please. All right, we've got a couple. What do we have? We have unexpected. Unexpected events, unexpected feelings, unexpected actions. There are still unexpected elements to this situation, yes. But this is also coming forward here, Capricorn, that for po possibly the second half of April, something unexpected may interject itself into your life that you are not expecting. So whether that's a good thing or a not so good thing, just be wary of that, okay? And be aware of what's coming in for you because clearly you're not expecting it to, to come in. It could be unexpected communication from this person. An unexpected gift, perhaps. An unexpected gesture. It could be anything. So angels are coming through to just offer you this advice and to be aware of what's coming in for you because it's not something that you're waiting for, but it is completely unexpected. And look at this other card. Negativity. I really feel that that is what this person has brought into the situation. They've interjected a level of negativity into this whole situation. Through this deception, through this codependency, through abandoning the family dynamic, breaking your heart. Words they've said, actions they've taken. And you're done with that, Capricorn, okay? You truly have decided to cut those things out of your life. You're done. And you're ready for new love to find you. And you deserve it. You totally deserve it, Capricorn. So get out of that negative headspace that this person has interjected into your life. I feel that you are doing that. And keep moving forward. That's all you can do. Okay, so one final thought from the Guardian Angel cards for you, Capricorn. Some final thoughts before we end your reading for the second half of April. Final thoughts, please, angels. There we are. What do we have? Nice. We've got dreams. And we have miracle. Dreams. This is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you ever wished for, even those which seemed a distant dream, are about to manifest. Wow. That is a fantastic message to come through for you, Capricorn. All your dreams are about to come true. You deserve it. And look at this, miracle. Dearest one, even if all hope seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. My gosh, what a fantastic closing message for you, Capricorn. I really do feel that, you know, with everything that you've been through, broken heart, separation, grief, all the tough times that you've been through in regard to this connection, dealing once again with someone who is being deceptive and manipulative, not coming forward with the truth, leaving you behind, and codependency. These are all tough things to deal with in love and romance and life in general, okay? So it's your turn. It's your turn to finally have all these wonderful things coming in for you. All your dreams will be coming true, guys. 
you will be able to manifest these miracles in your life. You deserve it. You absolutely deserve it, Capricorn. So I'm going to leave that right there. Whoever this came through for, I truly feel that you really needed to hear this at this time, guys. I really hope that it helped you and that it offers you even more healing in regard to this whole situation. So thank you so much, guys, for, for watching, for tuning in. If you're interested in a personal private reading from me, please access that information down below this video. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.